Good morning and happy Friday. So today I am part of a challenge hosted by Heidi Sambo over at Heidi Sambo DIY and it is a back to school challenge. So I'm doing something that I think I needed in my house or that I know I'm going to need in my house because my kids are doing e-learning or remote learning here at home and it's not really a DIY, more of a kind of a helpful um, idea, I guess. So I'm just going to use everything that you see here and I'm going to make like a workstation or a um, supply station or something like that. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tray that I got at the Dollar Tree and you can use any tray or any like area of your home. We do our e-learning here at our dining room table. So I can't just leave this on our dining room table, obviously, because this is where we eat also. So I needed something that I could kind of move around. So this was perfect. Um, and this was from, I guess, the summer, if I'm not mistaken. It's not very sturdy, but I'm not really putting anything too heavy on it. So it's not, you know, that big of a deal. So then they have these little file, um, I guess, file holders or whatever filers I don't know um, they have these at the Dollar Tree as well so I got one of these and I opened it up and I put I'm gonna put this on here and I just found these cute little baskets at the Dollar Tree and these are the smaller ones from the set that they have and they come in a two pack and they have different colors but um, I got the gray ones because I just kind of like neutral stuff so I'm gonna use these two and again you can use whatever you have. You can use, you know, little containers you have at home or mason jars or little boxes or anything that you have, you know, available to you. Or you can go to the dollar store or any other store and get yourself some little containers. So I'm going to put those on either end there. And I got this cup holder from the Dollar Tree. And again, um, you can use, I mean, pencil holder. You can use, you know, anything that you have. I bought this one because it kind of matched the theme there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill, oops, sorry for the noise. I'm just going to fill these up with stuff that I know the kids are going to need for school. And this will kind of be, they're just little supply station. Hey, mom, you have a pencil. Hey, mom. You know, do you have a folder, a notebook? Everything will be here, and then I'll just kind of go through and refill it, you know, whenever I see that stuff is low. Let me put them this way to hold that up in case it falls. And so I'm just putting some crayons in there. I got this little ruler slash hole puncher at the Dollar Tree, and most of the stuff that I'm using here is from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to put that in there. Put some sticky notes and index cards because I like them to use those when they're doing like their vocabulary and stuff so they can use those. I have a calculator that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm not going to open that one because that's actually my daughter's so I just need to find another one to put in here for them to use. Then I got the compass and the protractor got some glue and like I said all this stuff I got from the Dollar Tree so pretty easy thing a white out some tape I don't think this is from the Dollar Tree I think this is from Dollar General probably and then some lead because some of my kids don't like the regular number two pencils they like mechanical so put some extra lead in there and then just a bunch of pens and pencils and highlighters and markers, you know, anything that you can think of that they might need during the school year, just find a little container and put them in there. So putting all those in there, and like I said, some of them like mechanical, some of them like the regular pencils. One thing I forgot was some erasers, but I know I have some somewhere. Then I'm going to put some hand sanitizer on here because we do have one child that's going to be leaving to go to a pro special program so I want to make sure 
that's there. And then I got this cute little uh, calendar from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna open it up. Use my professional cutter there. Oh, I dropped all the pieces. And today is the oops. Let's see here. So today is the thirteenth. So Where we go? There we go. So I'm just going to put that right in the front there. And I got this little dry erase board from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put like a little quote. I have a dry erase board at our back door so that when they walk out every day, it has, you know, just an encouraging little saying or whatever, a scripture or something like that. Um, but since they won't be walking out the back door, I'll put this on here and just change it. Oops, sorry for the rustling, guys. And then I'll just change it and let's see. And I'll just sit that right next to it or inside of it. Let's see. I can fit it right there. And then that way, when they're done, they don't need it anymore. I can just pick it up and take it away. So that is it. That's all I'm doing for this one. And like I said, I hope this helps you and inspires you to make a little workstation. If you guys are doing e-learning at home now, I know times are a little bit different now, but... This is what I'm doing, so I hope this helps you out a little bit, and until the next video, be the reason someone smiles. Bye, guys.